from a very large data set like this, we want to summarize this data so that it appears like the data set in sheet one. Yes, on sheet one, you can see we have a very summarized data, the total sales in terms of customer types. Yes, but when you come to the orders uh, sheet, you can see that uh, the data set is very, very large. It is not easy even to summarize these customers by the type or by the state or even by the order of the year. Now, one of the most powerful tools found on Microsoft Excel's add-ins that is going to help us in doing this is what we call the pivot tables. Summarizing your, your data with pivot table is very, very easy and it is only going to take us five simple steps. Now, we are going to start with this data on our order sheet. The first step is to convert this data from the ranges to tables because it is much easier to work with data that is in tabular form compared to that one which is in the range form. Now the first step, convert this data into table and you do that by just clicking anywhere into that data set, come to the insert tab, then click on table, then OK. Your, my table has headers, so I'm going to click OK. Already we have the table. Then the next step is now to create a pivot table. Again, Click anywhere into that data set, which is now in tabular form. Then go back to the insert tab. Then at the topmost corner, you can see that we have pivot tables. And because we do not want to go to the recommended pivot tables, we are going to create it from the scratch. Now click on the drop down arrow. Then we are creating this pivot table from the table or the range. So click on that. Then you can see we do not give our table a name, so it is being given a name like table table one. Yes, and then the next step, it is giving us an option either to place this pivot table in a new worksheet or on existing worksheet. We want to place it on a new worksheet. Yes, then we are going to click OK. Then you can see a new worksheet has been opened. And when you look at uh, the topmost corner of this new sheet, you can see we already have a placeholder. The pivot table engine is simply showing us where that pivot table is going to be placed. Then now, let us come uh, to the pivot table analyze tab. Here at the top, we have the pivot table analyze tab and we have the design tab. When you come to the pivot table fields, we are going to see this. These are the pivot table fields. Under the fields, we have the filters field, the columns field, the rows field, and the values field. And we are going to explain each and every one of them in our next tutorial. For now, let us uh, look at how we can summarize this data in terms of uh, customer type and the total sales. We want to see the total volume of sales by customer type or by the state. Let us start by customer type or I can still just write there and search customer type. Then anything that uh, is uh, in that order is going to be placed under the rows field. Yes, it has been placed in the rows field and when you come here, yes, when you come to where we were, having our placeholder for the pivot table, you can see the row labels have been given and these are the customer types. We have, we have the consumer, we have the corporate customers, we have the home office customers, and also we have the small business customers. Then what next? We want the total sales. Again, we are going to search at the top here, total, total. Then now anything that is in numerical value is going to be placed under the values field. Then it has been automatically summarized beside the customer type column. Now you see we have the two columns, the customer type column and the total value columns. Now what next? When you look at uh, these numerical values, they are not okay. So we want to add uh, the comma separators 
and maybe you want to reduce the number of decimal points. So again, we are going to click inside that, then right click, then we are going to, we just want to format cells or format number. We are going to format cells, then our new window like this opens, we want to format these cells. First, we want to convert them to currency. Yes, when we convert them to currency, we can reduce the number of decimal points to zero, or we can just make it to two. Then we make sure that we have the comma separator. Then we are going to click OK. You can see everything has changed. No, no, no. Not everything has changed. Something has not changed, and we are just going to do number formatting. Yes. Now you can see that everything has changed. And then something else that you need to know about the pivot tables. When we now come to the design field at the top, we are going to have something like this. We have the grand totals. We may either decide to switch off or on the totals. Yes. We can on for rows and columns. We can off for rows and columns. When we off for rows and columns, you can see the total have been uh, turned off. We can get it back on rows and columns. It is back. Then in our next tutorial, we are going to look at how the pivot tables work and how we can format them.